guys welcome to our channel chanda thousand in this video we will learn how to design this curves this curve base in v shape well let me show you the animation before click animate and here so this is the animation of the curves and you might already see in social media how to work with and this is the check frame back so don't mind it so to achieve this animation so let's begin how to design this case in on shape okay it's pretty easy guys let me get in the first studio so each log let me create a new first studio in the first studio 11 okay so basically we need a sketch first so let's draw the sketch press the scale make sure it's in the center and give dimension how much you want okay let's give one point okay now set the arc and draw a semi curve not exactly at center so you as much as you can draw the center line now it and yeah let's keep it like that okay now okay the sketch what you will do is let's observe the shape how it will look like Oh, you can observe that right so this is the exact shape of care we are going to achieve to perform that let's get to this first of all let's open the sketch and hide this part now what will you do is uh, right click and offset the plane to the at the top Now, what you will do is, or else, let's delete this. Instead, we should set the face of the body. And draw this circle. So, we need a point at the middle. So, that's why I draw this circle. Okay? Now, do the same at the bottom as well. Okay, so let's keep it like this. Okay, what we need, we need a spark there. Set the feature script. And move the origin to the top. And give three inch. Turn your scale give it to two. Why so? Because if you give the one point four, it will cover this. So, so let's make it like this. Okay, one point seven. Now I'm going to set the transform tool and move the part to the right side using the make characters set this one and set this side and don't forget to copy the part and change the shape and cut it so now we have two guess now what we are going to do is we are going to perform the if operation okay so how you can do that? You can either do that by doing the same alignment for the whole who want the twist angle. You can also do that. So how you can do that? So first of all, inside this sketch, okay. 
now 70 can be multiplied and now what you will do is select one side of the page so I'm at the top select this one make sure you will be okay at the end which will be the center point here so at the center point like this yep now I will do the sketch at the part now now select the three of its spline and make sure to which one you are twisting so this one this one and do the same on the other side like if you want to twist operation it should be like this right so it is one of the two so it should be like this not this one this one so we want the twist cut okay like this okay now we draw hide the sketch what do we need is the face of the gear and draw a circle in the center make sure the teeth only wheels will look like this okay so press ok now what we'll do is sell this one and let this be two and give this the like a sleep here we change the alignment so give it as key proper orientation here we go we got the curve shape you can, you can also use the face lock here we go by using the new feature face of operation, you just get this that shape of the curve like this. Okay, and but here we need to get a shape, we can achieve that shape later. So let's press OK. Now let's add this top here, but here we didn't get shape. So for that, what do we do? Just select this one. Try the circle as we want. Let's remove the shape. Well, we don't need this case now, so let's use the volume supply. Remove uh, this and this part. Oops. We didn't get the good shape for that. So what do we do? Let's subtract. We just add this part. I'm going to use the face two for an auto set to use the boundary. Let's keep tangent. it. Yeah. Just for cutting only I'm using this tags. Okay. So not that much. I'm going to just get to it. This part in in the if you don't want this. Sorry, I want this to press OK. So, yes, that is why we don't need it anymore. There we go. Now, what do we do? Let's perform the circle operator. Set the part, 
and we set up the axis and give y equals zero forward take is twenty five only. Okay. Now we press add. Is taking time. Your image is the part one, so we don't need to perform another full illustration for this. It takes time, but keep this concentrate so what we do just set the inner samples and increase the thickness we should have this much sorry and scale Maybe it's too much, right? Let's see the point you want to Let's keep the match with all. And the GPS presently not running through, so that's why it's taking time. Now still it's showing some errors here. So let's try to increase the thickness. After performing the brain operation or thickness or new face, finally we should be killed. So for this we need to for now, I am going to do the assembly. So before that, we need to read also the position of the cubes. So for that, select the front plane, select the sketch, and draw one circle. So it should be tangent to it. So select this line and select this one and press I. Select this line and this line and press B. Sorry. Press I. Now we got this one. And what do we do? Now use the transform tool, set the part and press cell rotate and give axis one. And set the copy part and rotate the circle and just rotate up to 45 degrees then get keep touching and change the edge like this okay, let's keep 46 like this Now use the transform tool again, set the bar and set transit by XYZ and move to um, Y direction. If you do, you should know that. So here we already draw the sketch right. And then this part and see how much distance it's based here of one twenty. So let's move the part like that. Okay. 